Hello, ladies, gents, and everyone. It is Thursday, March 17th. Happy St. Patrick's Day. And we're here to talk about this week's space and astronomy news. The Artemis 1 rocket is all stacked and ready to go. The last of the work platforms was retracted yesterday, and today the rocket is being rolled out to the launch pad. You can actually watch this coverage live starting at 5 p.m. Eastern on NASA's website or app. The rocket isn't going to the launch pad to launch, though. That's not expected until at least May. Instead, it has its wet dress rehearsal test. This test is wet because the liquid propellant tanks will actually be filled, although the engines will not be fired. Basically, the team is going to practice the entire launch day routine up until 10 seconds prior to liftoff, along with some other contingency routines they need to practice. Exciting to see the Orion spacecraft and the SLS rocket come together. Hopefully, all will go well. Up on the ISS, things seem to be operating normally. None of the crew members have released any statements about the ongoing Russian invasion of Ukraine. Two NASA astronauts just finished up a spacewalk on Tuesday in preparation for an upcoming solar array installation. And on Tuesday, NASA astronaut Vande High surpassed Scott Kelly to set a new U.S. single spaceflight duration record, which is now at 343 days, although it will be 355 when all is said and done. And it's about to get a bit more crowded as three cosmonauts are launching tomorrow from Kazakhstan to join the ISS. This will bring the total on board to 10 until March 30th, when three astronauts, two cosmonauts, and NASA astronaut Vande High will be returning. And yes, this return of a NASA astronaut on the Soyuz capsule does seem to be going ahead despite tensions with Russia. So while the future of the ISS might be a little bit unclear, it's great to see that it is continuing to perform its mission for now. Blue Origin has another space tourism launch coming up, and like the previous three launches, Blue Origin has invited an honored celebrity guest alongside the paying customers. Side note, it's not been disclosed how much these customers are actually paying, but suffice to say, it's probably a lot. Previous guests were Wally Funk, William Shatner, and Michael Strahan, and now the newest one will be SNL comedian Pete Davidson. Huh, did not see that coming. Anyway, good luck to the NS20 mission, which is scheduled to launch next Wednesday. We have got some more good news from the James Webb Space Telescope. When we last saw our intrepid space telescope, it was taking a stacked image of a calibration star. That is to say, each of the 18 primary mirror segments was creating a separate image that was located on the same spot on the detector. And the mirror segments needed a lot of tiny adjustments to make them actually work together to create a single image. And they've done it! This fine phasing was completed on Friday, and we just got the image yesterday. Yep, this is the actual image produced by the JWST Optics and the NIRCAM instrument. This is actually a different star than we saw before. This one is this. <laughs> and see those little bits in the background? Yeah, some of those are actually galaxies, even though that was not the intent of this picture at all. This image means that the James Webb Space Telescope, in near-infrared at least, works. NASA said that every optical parameter that has been checked and tested has been performing at or above expectations. Also, in case you're wondering, these bright rays coming from the calibration star are actually totally normal and expected. They're called diffraction spikes, and they come from the struts that support the secondary mirror in conjunction with the shape of the aperture of the telescope. With the release of this image, NASA's Associate Administrator for the Science Mission Directorate said, Today we can say Webb's audacious optical design is going to deliver. Congrats to the whole team involved in making this happen, and just so, so excited for what we are going to see this summer. So that's it for today. I hope you are having an excellent St. Patrick's Day and celebrating if you do so. I myself am Irish American, so I do like to. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you again next week. Have a good one. Bye.